I think that today's episode is gonna be a sad one. Shizu's pretty much only been here for like two episodes, and in the third one, I'm, I think Rimuru pretty much like swallows her, right? In a good way, in a good way, and then we like become her, which is kind of creepy. Not really. I don't know how to feel about it. It just sucks that she's just like, introduced. She's such a promising character and that she just goes away. It is what it is. Let's begin today's reaction. Yeah, what happened to Ifrit? Ifrit's like... Is Vildra like playing with Ifrit right now in his stomach? Killed? Killed? Backstory incoming? I think this is gonna go into Rimuru's like motivations to defeat Leon, right? Doesn't he get super upset? No, dude, the pet. Wait, Gopta is looking fresh. What the fuck? No, she killed Piri though. Dude, Leon is actually so fucking evil. The kids? Right, the kids. The students. Never mind. The hero? The hero that sealed Veldra? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Because there was also a hero. Don't st I'm not asking for spoilers. Everything I say is rhetorical questions. But there was a hero that sealed Veldra. This lady, and, and she ha she also had a mask, but she was like short hair. And I thought it was like, wait, Shizu did this? I don't think so. Wait, the hero is here. The hero. Does she just happen to wear the mask too because she's Demon Lord's side? What the fuck? This is the girl that sealed Veldora. Remember, don't spoil me. Who the fuck is this? Damn, the hero is super strong. I don't suppose it was the same one who sealed Veldra. Isn't it though? I isn't it? Because that same lady had the mask on. It was a short haired girl mask. The same mask that Shizu had or at least similar design that sealed Veldra when Veldra was like fucking around when he was telling us in like episode 2 or 1. Different. It's it's the fucking mask that's throwing me up. Everybody has the same goddamn mask. Okay. Leon's keeping us here. Hmm. Wait, wait. So they fought, and then she's basically just like gave her a life story. Now she's like crying into her. Okay, the hero's kind of nice. Okay. Who the fuck is this? The hero. Okay, well, one thing we can definitely notice about the hero is that she's got, like, a hair ornament thing. You know, like a little bell. But the mask... Why do they all wear the same fucking mask? Isn't... Uh, where does this mask even come from, actually? Did the hero give us the mask? Did we ever wear the mask? Because I was maybe mis um, misinterpreting where we got the mask from. I thought that Leon just gave us the mask. But it almost looks like she is the one that gives us the mask. So the mask doesn't really have anything to do with being a demon lord. No. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Understood, okay, okay. But that pretty much means that whoever sealed Veldera... I don't know. Do they, it's, it's the same person. It's another person that was given the mask from a different person. I don't know. It's, it's this fucking mask that's throwing me off, though. Magic resistance and suppression. Okay. Heal it. It's a little cracked. That's quite a title. Conqueror of Flames. <laughs> you were on fire. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. She just went away. She just left us. Okay, the hero just leaves. Conveniently doesn't show her face after giving us the mask. Who are you? This is such a secret. I don't know. You tell me. I'm certain we'll meet again. Well, maybe Shizu doesn't meet her. 
But because Rimuru pretty much like becomes Shizu and we take her body form, maybe there's a future moment where we do meet the hero, and in that instance, technically, we do meet again, right? Bye-bye, hmm. Yusha. Wasn't young anymore. She's like 60 years old, but has the face of a 20-year-old. Leon left her by herself. Wait, Leon's the one that left her? Oh, I thought Leon was just in the castle, just like, just chilling. I, I don't know. I thought he just wanted to control her. I don't know what Leon's doing, but he just left too. So he's like, all right, she's, I'm going to leave the castle. You stick around here. And then the hero showed up. And then... <laughs> And then, and then she's like, well, Leon's not coming back. I'm going to fuck off too. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Man, there's a lot of detail here from season one that I just completely forgot about or never even knew. But, oh, yeah. This is where she has students now. In like that holy town. Yo, fuck that kingdom of Ingratia. I just remember, there's a lot of snitches there. Dude, Ingratia fucking sucks. The people that's like keeping the kids, like the, the, the main, I forget who it was, but I remember there's a guy that was acting nice, but actually sold us out to the church, right? Fuck Ingratia. Cheap labor, man. Of course, they're gonna sell them kids for cheap labor. Ah, this again. Okay, so... If you, you guys fucking spoiled me a couple episodes ago because I was like, she's from the World War II times. How the fuck did she understand this video game line that Rimuru said? But it's actually the kids that told her. But that didn't happen until now, so you guys fucking spoiled me. Is this round two? Is she saying it again? <laughs> of these kids, isn't the one on the far right like the most important? And maybe I'm wrong here. But someone mentioned in the comments of the previous videos that when we were in the elf bar, you know, the elf, right? The, the magic bowl, the magic ball of, you know, telling our future, who our destined one to be with is. Apparently, we saw Shizu, but this kid was also there? Am I crazy? Did, w was this kid there too? Or am I crazy? I just remember from last time I saw the show, all the kids are important. They have their own different powers. But like the far right, all the kids were there? Okay, okay. But I think the far right girl is like one of the most important, right? It's almost like she just like... Inherited Shizu. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the one the far right. She just looks like Shizu. The hero? Hinata? Hinata is the hero? The church girl. Right? This is Hinata's face, right? Is this this is Hinata walking away? So wait, Hinata was the hero? This is crazy. This is why this rewatch is so fascinating to me. Cause little details like this, when I'm fucking watching this show for the first time, I like I'm just watching it like I don't pause or I, I don't like talk about it, right? So I'm just sitting here and like, who the fuck are these characters? This is boring. Come on, go to the hype scenes. But like all this is so important. I just never knew. Okay, so Hinata was the hero that had the mask. Interesting, okay. Huh. One of them became a Grand Master. One of her students became a Grand Master? Not the children. Not Hinata, but someone else? Am I crazy? What? Is the YouTube stream just messed up? <sighs> okay, I'll break the fucking anime reaction here just. Go back here, go back here, go back here. This is important. Some of them eventually went off their own and left me. I thought this is the hero. I thought this is the hero, Hinata. But the way that she's talking about it, it looks like one of her students was Hinata. Am I crazy? It's, how could Hinata be timeline-wise? No, it's not Hinata. The hero can't be Hinata. Hinata's a human. Hinata can't be that old. I'm so... Hinata was a student of Rimuru? Sorry, uh, of, of Shizu? I, 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 okay, okay, okay. Ho, what the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Re uh, erase everything I said before. The hero that walked away was not Hinata. I thought it was because this is the same background. No, 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 no. Hinata is one of her students and she became like some kind of important guild master. Grandmaster. Okay, Grandmaster. Okay, 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 okay. 
そりゃあ大したもんじゃないかええ大したもの私が教えられることはもうなくなったと思った思い出したことが一つだけあったから、What? 旅に出ようって思い出したこと私を召喚した男リオン Where did Leon go? He just summoned her and just left? The fuck? What is Leon's goal? <sighs> the Grandmaster is different again. It's not fucking my fault. This is impossible to. You, you, this, this is bullshit. You fucking have. This is a triple bait. We just fucking saw. The hero walking away in the same background fucking lighting. Then suddenly you show Hinata walking away in the same fucking background lighting. Look at this. The same fucking background lighting. So that's the first L. Okay. Okay. It's not Hinata as a student. But the grand. They talk about a grandmaster in the same fucking scene again. So as the enemy only. How the fuck am I supposed to know? How the fuck am I supposed to know? The Grandmaster is someone else, Hinata is a student, and the hero is also someone entirely different. But based on what we're seeing right now, you cannot fucking blame me for this. This is bullshit. Also a student. Leon. Leon summons her, and Leon said that another failure. So he's probably still trying to summon something? What is he trying to summon? Why did you summon me? Oh, dude, one of our last memories is gonna be the idiot trio. That's actually so nice. But now you're about to die. Oh, God. No. Uh, Rimuru. But we don't, we, we, we don't know why it's Rimuru though. Oh, Japanese name. I don't know actually. Satoru. Does this matter? I don't think so, right? Okay. Forever. Oh? What? Did she request revenge against Leon? What does she say? Swallow me? Eat me. Eat me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the context is different, you know? Yeah, it's different. It, it, Rimuru eating is different, okay? <laughs> Will that make you happy if I eat you? Okay. So she'd rather get absorbed by Rimuru instead. A slime. Oh, man. Dude. <sighs> I just remember watching this show for the first time and... <laughs> okay, wait. The wording? Wording? Would you let me rest inside you? Yes, you can be inside us. But I just remember watching this for the first time being so, like, not disappointed, but, like, sad. That, damn, we got this new girl and I thought she's gonna be important. She might be joining her team. But it's like, no, she's gonna die? What the fuck? Time to use Predator, my man. Devour her. Even like Rimuru saying okay like that, I feel like, I feel like even though he's talking in a very like a monotone way right now, he's being very respectful. He's kind of like almost mad. I don't know. Because when he swallows her, doesn't he take on the motivation, this revenge to find Leon? Which is crazy because in season two, we do find Leon at that meeting. But I think that meeting actually went pretty good and Leon almost like respected Rimuru and vice versa. I can't really remember. Leon Cromwell. Leon Cromwell. So like that's our final end game boss, right? Is Leon Kremo really the final end game boss? Why did you summon me? Acknowledge that this human had existed. So one of the most important things is to rescue the kids and basically re isekai them. Huh. Season 3? Season 4? Season 5? This sounds like super endgame stuff though, huh? She gone. Her last words were thank you, man. She's just done. Oh wow, she's aging. Wow! Immediately. Her hair turned white. I think it was like, um... Someone was saying how Ifrit was like, uh keeping her young like that, but 
Damn, that was fast. She gone. My destined ones. <sighs> yes. Yes. A sad yes. Oh? Is she gonna see Veldera here? She's not, right? Wait, who's she gonna see in here? It's her, it's the hero and wait, 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 this seems super important. So remember, remember, right? Remember, there was the hero that took her on, the hero's on the right side. Hinata was one of her students, but then the grandmaster is also someone completely different. So this girl right here, the blonde girl, is the grandmaster? Is that it? Right? Because there's three characters that's important. There's the hero. There's Hinata, the, her students, and then there's also the Grandmaster who's different. I don't think we've seen this blonde girl yet. Maybe I'm forgetting. I don't want spoilers. Is, is this the Grandmaster? This is kind of con contradicting. Huh? I'm saying I don't want spoilers, but I'm, I'm, I'm asking you a fucking yes or no question. I don't know, but these two characters, important. Remember, hero, Hinata, Grandmaster, blonde girl's here too. Okay. All right. This is like a really important episode for just plot stuff, endgame stuff, huh? This is like really important details. Oh, it's our home back in Japan. We know the Grandmaster? I don't remember the Grandmaster, man. Is this Shizu's mom? This is like a happy ending for her, right? It's a bit of a closure. No, the idiot trio! The idiot trio doesn't know! Uh, nah, the potions can't save her, man. Oh, no. Oh, wait. They're the first ones to see the new human form, right? We're about to see Rimuru's new form. Here we go. Oh. Thank you for the sub. I, I see you, the vlogs. Nice, nice timing for the sub. <laughs> but... <laughs> it could be worse. Like, so, so does a dick exist or not? Because, like, I think Rimuru's body is very androgynous. We don't really... It's like a genderless slime, right? It's pretty much just like, is there a dick? And there could be. I don't know. There's just pretty much nothing there. But okay, first thing we see of Rimuru's new body is the, the booty cheeks. All right. <laughs> Ranga likes it. Yeah, that body. It's a, it's a Shizuru. Here we go. New body, guys. No, he can definitely create extra dongs on Will. Absolutely. That's the beauty of a slime. Ranga knows. Damn, he took offense there. It's like, you dare? Yeah, he did become a little bit smaller than Shizuru's body side. Still a slime though, yeah. Boing. <laughs> Did you eat? She yeah, she asked me to. No, no, she asked. That was her last. Will, come on. She's inside us now. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> You can still say goodbye right now, right? Maybe? No, it's not the same. That's right. The idiot trio is who she thought of at the end. I like this trio. Surely they won't die in the future, right? Alright, we're done. She used to pretty much carry the entire time. Like, they would have not survived without her. Yeah, they'd be great friends in real life, but I would not want them in my party. <laughs> come and come on now. <laughs> yeah, say some good shit about us. I think that Buruman Kingdom is very chill, right? Fuse is very chill. The idiot trio is very chill. They're like a already kind of like a neutral alliance. Not doing anything sus, right? He probably just wants some closure to say goodbye to Shizu. I don't think we ever see this onesie ever again, huh? I don't think we've ever seen Rimuru wear this ever again. 
Should have told her before she died. I'm kidding. Oh. This is so sentimental out of nowhere. God damn it. I will not cry. I will not cry. But th this is very heartwarming. Yeah. Honestly. Ooh, time to give him new new gear, right? The dwarves have been going crazy. Oh shit, wait. Yo, new fit? Eden's looking real nice too? Damn. Free gear? Yo, the idiot tree is just thriving. Where they at? Where my dwarves at? Kaijin. Here comes. <laughs> no, he'll never speak. Oh? They know Kaijin? Wait. Are they legendary? Wait, 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 wait. The idiot trio knows about Kaijin and the Garm bro. Wait, the. Uh, so. I guess I've been kind of underestimating them, huh? If they're this popular outside of the Dwarf Kingdom, goddamn. They're like insane. Oh! Yeah, I, I think, um, don't we get a Gabiru arc next? Before Benny? G -g -g Gabiru! Alright, bye bye, idiot trio. Oh, oh? Okay, it's a Shizu again. <laughs> a little bit of recap to end it? Is Gabiru arc after Benny arc? Oh, I thought the lizard men came first and then the ogres. That's right, the conqueror of flames. And now I've eaten her. I got a grave here too. Does this still exist in the future arcs? Oh, we got some new clothing, but like, does this like gravestone still exist in the future? Okay, I'll take note of it. Try to get those kids back to Earth and ask Leon. That's right. But like, is Leon really evil? I feel like based on what we've seen, based on what I remember from season two, Leon is in an ambiguous state where I can't really tell if he's evil or not. <laughs> Here we are. Yo, what's Ifrit doing in there with Veldora? A turbulent new era. This keeps throwing me off because Rimuru is pretty much like the narrator of his own story, huh? Uh oh? Okay, so no, 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 we get this arc first. This is the Lizardman arc, right? Because we have the, the, the orcs, right? The orcs gets, um, is it Clayman that does this shit, right? Clayman does some shit with the orcs, or orcs attack the lizard kingdom. Gabi is a fucking idiot, we go save them. And then after, I think we get the ogres, which is Benny, right? Unless I'm wrong about the order of this. Yeah, this is the orc lord, no? I don't know. Maybe this gets shown here and then they do the later. It's the same arc? Is it all the same arc? Okay. Clayman. Mask? No, Clayman's men. I think? I'm not sure. Very familiar voice actor. This is uh, Luxion's voice actor right now. From Opseka. Gelmudu. Demon Lord Gelmude. Not Clayman. Oh, oh, my bad. I thought it was Clayman involved. I'm not sure why. Demon Lord Gelmude? Oh, okay. This is one of the earlier Demon Lords that we just kind of defeat easily. I forget. I, I forgot about Gelmi, to be honest. No, I'm hungry. Give me food. <laughs> yeah. If you name him, he gets stronger, right? Your name is... Gel. That kind of sucks that he got named by a different person like this instead of Rimuru, huh? I would like him to get like, a name from Rimuru instead. Is Gelmi the demon lord? I thought he is. Is he not? Is he just role-playing? And I think this is like, um, he can't stop eating, right? Again, no spoilers, no spoilers. And that's the episode. A sad episode that had a lot of plot. Again, the 
the best thing about this rewatch for me is being able to like stop and talk and with you guys and kind of discuss about what's going on because I did not remember at all that the hero sealed Veldora. The hero had the mask from the beginning. She gave the mask to Shizu. Shizu then had a student, Hinata. Shizu also had a different person who became a grandmaster. All these different things. I did not fucking... Oh, nice booty. I did not remember at all. Very sad episode. It sucks that Shizu kind of goes away after being introduced within three episodes, but it is what it is. We, at least we kind of took her body and her goals to kind of inherit her will to move forward. So Leon Cromwell, the guy that summoned her, why did you do this? And can we actually send the kids back to Earth? This is an interesting thing that I haven't really seen fulfilled in many Isekai animes I've seen, right? It's a... Uh, because like, even in Furata, the goal is to get back to Earth, but I haven't seen any Isekai anime where they allowed, you know, after getting reincarnated or summoned somewhere to actually go back, right? Uh, Chief Skill in another world is a bit different because it's one fucking door that he has in his house that he can go back and in, but you know, you know. So interesting to see what's going to happen with there. And again, I don't think Leon is necessarily an evil dude. If you can ignore the child death, right? If you can ignore that part, right? Uh, child death bad, right? Hot take. I think child death is, you know, terrible. But if we ignore that part and think about what his overall goals is with summoning, I don't know. I feel like there might be... We're, he's like a misunderstood character. So that's it for me. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.